It's Ruby back again with another Vegas video today. I want to do my top must do's for Las Vegas So these are the places and the sites that I think you absolutely should go see Whether it's your first trip or maybe you're going back after a long while The reason that I decided to do this video is that I've been getting tons and tons of DMS from you guys on Instagram Thank you so much to all you guys that DM me and ask me questions. It actually kind of helped me decide that I needed to make a video on everything that I really recommend you do. So I'm getting questions every day like, where should I go see? What's your favorite place to go drink? And I wanted to put that all together and make one single video for you guys. If you are enjoying the content and you guys like this video, please go ahead and tap that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. And if you wanna leave a comment on the places that you guys think we absolutely should go to Las Vegas, I think that would help other people that are traveling too. Okay, so before you even get to Vegas, if you've never been before, one of my top recommendations for you guys would be to stay Center Strip. Now, I have a lot of favorite hotels that are even further down South and North Strip, but if you've never been there before, it is a lot bigger than it seems and walking can be really, really difficult. So I highly recommend that you stay right in the middle so that you're right where everything is located. And a lot of my recommendations to go are pretty center strip. So my top recommendations would be for you guys, Caesars, Bellagio, Mirage. I've stayed at all of those properties and they were all really excellent. There's also some other more affordable options on the other side and all of those are right in the middle, right in the perfect location. All right, so let's talk about sites that you guys need to see. So even if you're going to Las Vegas to do like a big party, you're going to clubs and things, you still have a lot of downtime during the day and you may wonder where should I go and what should I do? These are my top recommendations for during the day. I think that you guys should go and see the Bellagio Conservatory. Obviously this is located inside the Bellagio right past the main lobby. The conservatory is a beautiful floral display that changes four times a year and showcases some really gorgeous flower art and sculptures. I love going here and seeing all the beautiful displays that they do. It's a great way to spend a half hour just looking around at all the beautiful sites and reading about the culture of whatever one they're displaying. I highly recommend the Bellagio Conservatory. It's completely free. You just walk right in and you can go and take a look at the beautiful flowers. And my other recommendation would be Caesars Forum Shops. So shopping in Vegas is always a must do on some people's lists. But even if you're not a huge shopper, I think the Forum Shops are a really, really cool site. You are inside, but it's almost like you're outside in an outdoor market in Italy. They have really designed the atmosphere to be so different and transport you and there are really cool shops in here. If you've never been into a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton, now's the time to go in there and just look around, window shop a little bit. There's also more affordable shops. H&M is in here and it's a huge H&M. It's like three stories and you can kind of grab anything you might need or do some quick shopping. There's a Sephora in here, which I always love to go and hit up. And there's other restaurants and things as well. So I think the forum shops is a great way to go and waste a little bit of time just doing some window shopping and looking around. So once it gets dark, there's two other must do's that I think you must go and see. You absolutely need to go and check out the Mirage Volcano Show. This is located right outside of the Mirage Hotel and you are going to go and wait outside anywhere between 8 and 11 p.m. It runs every hour. So 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. The Volcano Show is a like four minute show, I think it is, of just water and fire and music. And it is a really, really cool thing to watch for a minute on the strip. I just really think that you guys would enjoy watching the Volcano Show. It's a must do in my opinion. Okay, and another must do. This one's on everybody's must do list. I'm sure you were seeing this coming, but the Bellagio Fountain is a must do. So the Bellagio Fountain runs day and night. Every night it runs about every 15 minutes. 
I think the Bellagio fountain at night is a totally different experience to the daytime. It's all lit up, it's really gorgeous, and they play a couple of different songs that you can watch the fountains go off to. It's quintessential Vegas, it's definitely a must do. I'll give an honorable mention here, I think the flamingos over at the flamingo are another really fun thing to go and look at, especially if you're an animal lover. They're really cool and they're right up in front of you, you're really close to them. A really fun little way to waste some time if you're around that area. There are so many free sites to look at in Las Vegas. There's really no reason for you to be bored at all while you're on Las Vegas during the day. There's a lot to see and most of it's totally free. Okay, let's talk about my drink recommendations. I wanna talk about three places that I think you absolutely must go. If you follow my channel a lot, I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record. You have to go to Fat Tuesdays and you have to get a slushy. You don't need to do one of those big yard long ones. I think that they're too sweet for that and honestly, it gets kind of warm after a while and then it's not very good. But even just getting one of the smaller cups of Fat Tuesdays is so worth it and quintessential Vegas to me. I always get a Miami Vice, which is a pina colada mixed with a strawberry daiquiri. These drinks are not expensive at all, you guys. A small cup is $10. Shots are either a dollar or $2 and they're not super, super strong. I think they used to be a lot stronger and people were getting a little too intoxicated. Now I feel like they're just kind of a little buzz, but to walk around the strip because it is an open carry state, so you can just walk around the Las Vegas Strip with your drink. To walk around and see the sights with your little Fat Tuesdays cup, I think it's just a really fun way to vacation. And you can keep your cup and it gets refilled for a dollar less, so you save a little bit of money there too. If you're on a budget and you just wanna find a fun cocktail, I really, really like Fat Tuesdays. Okay, at night, let's talk about Parasol Down again. I think this place is just kind of a hidden gem and not a lot of people know about it. Parasol Down is located in the wind. Right past the lobby, you will go down a spiral escalator and you will see a beautiful waterfall. And once it hits sundown, they start doing the Lake of Dreams show. They just re-renovated the Lake of Dreams show, but I don't think people still really know what that is or where it is. So it's completely free to watch. You can either eat at one of the restaurants that are facing it, which would be the SW Steakhouse or Lakeside, or you can go to Parasol Down, which is my recommendation. Parasol Down is just a little bar. It's right outside on a patio. They keep it temperature controlled so you're always comfortable. They show a variety of shows every half hour, and they're all about five minutes long. It's puppetry, it's visual effects, it's lighting and music. It's really like no other that I've seen. I think this place is incredible. Cocktails here are a little expensive. They can run around $17, but you know, if you have two cocktails, you can sit there and watch like four of these shows and they really just have so much atmosphere and emotion and I think that it's a fantastic place to go either with a huge group of people or even just with two of you to go and watch this. It's honestly awesome. I highly recommend Parasol Down. A lot of you guys still don't know about it so I really wanted to mention it. And again, here we go. I'm gonna mention the Pepper Mill. I was just there and posting on my Instagram stories and I'm not kidding, I got like 15 DMs from you guys. Where are you? That looks awesome. Where is this place? I was in the Peppermill Lounge, you guys. The Peppermill is not in a casino. It is its own restaurant. It's right past the Wynn. I would take an Uber there because it is a little bit further out. But once you're there, you're gonna go past the hostess stand into the Fireside Lounge. You can seat yourself here and they serve cocktails. They also serve light appetizers. The Peppermill is a restaurant, but I specifically really love the Fireside Lounge. It's gorgeous, it, it looks like a 70s dream. This was showcased in so many movies. It was in Casino, and it's just like cheesy and fun and kind of tacky, but in the best way. I highly recommend a Blue Hawaii from here. That is my favorite drink from the Pepper Mill, and they play really fun music on the TVs. It's just really atmospheric. I've spent hours in here. We try to go here every single trip. That's how much we like it. We always try to go here and get a drink. It is a top recommendation for me. I feel like if you do anything on this list, I think you should go to the Fireside Lounge at the Pepper Mill. Another must do, in my opinion, when you're in Las Vegas is to schedule some pool time. So if you are there anytime between March and October, you are in pool season in Las Vegas, and I do think you should spend some time at your pool. 
there's just nothing like sitting in this huge pool area, sipping on a cocktail, soaking in that heat. And I feel like, especially if you had a late night out, this is a great way to recover. Another honorable mention, if you are there to party, you're in the younger crowd, a day club might be a really good option for you guys. Day clubs are for those who are 21 and over. It is exactly that, it is a club during the day. There is a pool, there's DJs, there's drinks. It's a lot of fun. Stadium Swim just opened up at Circa and it is sort of like a football viewing party, basketball viewing party, sports viewing party with a pool. There are six different pools here. There's AstroTurf on the, on the lawn and they have some really good and decently priced drinks here. So that's another fun mention that I'd like to point out. But I think when you're in Vegas, a little bit of pool time is absolutely a must. And Fremont Street is a definite must. You have to go here at least one night on your trip. I do recommend you go at night seeing Viva Vision lit up across the entirety of Fremont Street is like nothing else. They play awesome songs. There are bars lining the entire street so you could just walk up and grab yourself a drink. It's a totally different atmosphere than the Strip. It is great for one of your nights just to go down there and experience a little different part of Vegas. Fremont Street is also called Downtown or Old Vegas. All of the original casinos are here. Circa just opened up on Fremont Street. You have to go down here and check it out. Go and check out my other video on Fremont to see a lot of my top recommendations. And we need to mention food. So I've gotten, at least this week alone, like three different people messaging me asking me where I should go for brunch. My top recommendation for brunch is gonna be Mon Ami Gabby at Paris. So this is a beautiful French bistro. You can sit outside and you are facing the Bellagio Fountains. I had an incredible breakfast here. They do serve cappuccino French style in a bowl, a huge cappuccino. It was probably the best one I've ever had, honestly. They also serve mimosas and great cocktails here. The food was really delicious. I highly recommend it. Okay, a high-end food recommendation. This is if you're looking to have a really classy night out and you wanna get dressed up and go out to eat, I recommend Lago at the Bellagio. This was the best meal I've had in Vegas thus far and totally worth the price tag. We had risotto, we had a perfectly cooked filet, we had surf and turf with lobster. All the desserts were incredible. You cannot go wrong at Lago. I think it is absolutely incredible. I recommend trying to get out on the patio where you can actually watch the fountain go off while you're enjoying your meal. This place was excellent. It's really not talked about as much as I think it should be. All right, a cheap eats option for you guys, where I think you should go if you just want a cheap bite. In-N-Out Burger. If, if you're from the West, you might have already had In-N-Out Burger, but for those of us that are more on the Midwest or North, you've maybe never had In-N-Out Burger and it is really, really good and really affordable. I highly recommend getting it animal style where they put the animal sauce, which is like a Fancy sauce mixed with a pickle relish, essentially. And you can also get it all over your french fries, which is so, so good. You can go to the one located inside the Link Promenade shop. So it's right down that strip. You will see In-N-Out Burger there. It's really popular. Sometimes it's hard to get a table in here. This place gets so crazy. But it's an absolute must, in my opinion, for cheap eats. So that was my list of the absolute must do's for you guys as far as food and sites and things to do. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Again, please leave a comment down below for any place that you guys think that someone should go when traveling to Las Vegas. And give this video a like if any of these tips helped you guys out. I hope to see you guys all again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.